Hey guys, you have waited incredibly patiently and I know there's not a lot of time left. So here are your predictions for 2017 LXL B1 exam. So please remember that I am not an examiner. I do not know any inside of secrets. I don't know what's going to be on the paper. Um, all I've done is looked at specification, looked at their past papers, and I've thought about what is going to come up on this year's paper. Now, while they're unusually for NXL, um, they normally cover everything pretty evenly, last year's paper didn't have anything about the nervous system on it. Um, so that could be a key to what is going to come up on this year's paper. Every single year they have experiments on the paper, whether it's experiments that you've done in class or whether experiments that I've done in real life, like pharma adding fertilizer to a field and seeing what happens, part of the nitrogen cycle. Um, there's gonna, probably going to be a graph in there, there's probably going to be data in there for you to analyse. Tell the story of the graph. Take it section by section, does it change, mention the changes, any data that you can get from reading off the graph, don't forget numbers, units are excellent, excellent things to add in to your answer. Things that Edexcel love putting in, basically come up every single year, are genetic crosses. So these are something that's really, really worth spending the time um, getting to know how to do properly. So we're talking about your homozygous, your heterozygous, your recessive, your dominant, um, the, the, the ratio of the different phenotypes and genotypes that come up. Um, any examples that you've been taught, they love talking about sickle cell anemia, they do that one loads and loads. Other topics that they love are the nitrogen cycle and eutrophication. Yep, I know that's a really, really long word that you may not have come across, but please just go look up what it means and prepare a nice, solid six mark answer on these because um, these questions come up so often. If you just go through the past papers, you can prepare um, a six mark answer before you go into exams. And even if it isn't the six mark question, you can still use what you've done in preparation to answer the other questions. Other things you can prepare for a six mark question on are evolution, um, variation, any examples that you've come across in class are gonna be great to learn, um, natural selection. Things that I think might come up as six mark questions this year are going to be um, regulation. So temperature regulation in the body, blood glucose regulation in the body, hormones, plant and uh, animal hormones, they love asking questions about that. And then right back to what I said at the beginning, um, genetic diseases. So drawing the cross, talking about diseases, the impact on people, um, impact on family, kind of like a bit more of a ethical stance on things, you know, so the couple wants to know if they should have another baby, what are their chances? Um, but please remember guys, I don't know any insider secrets. Um, please, please, please revise absolutely everything that you can for the exam. Um, good luck guys, um, don't forget I've done the rest of the predictions, really nice little playlist sorted out for you, so you can just go and have a look at those. Um, good luck for your exam, I know it's really soon now, and come back and let me know how it went.